Nobody, not even the healthcare professionals, knew the extent to which the pandemic would affect all of our lives. So it takes some courage to predict what it will do this year. What do you think 2021 is going to look like? I'm, I'm afraid to answer the question. Um, if, if, you know, if you asked me that question a year ago in 2019, you, you know, I had, I had so many plans, right? And so many things that we, we were going to accomplish and do in 2020. Um, I think that's why I went through a period of feeling like so much was taken because all those plans pretty much um, got, got tossed in the trash as we, as we navigated through 2020. And Algin and Cash certainly isn't alone. His restaurant, Zesto Burgers and Ice Cream, is closed and most of his colleagues in the food and beverage industry are either in the same boat or struggling to survive with limited seating and takeout orders. I just think for so many people it was just like this ground shifting year where it, you, you either had a choice of, of, of just wallowing in that or you could try to take that and say, okay, hey, what, what am I going to do to to learn from it and get better from it. And one of those lessons is being quick to see new realities. I think some of these things are here permanently. Um, I, I do think people have gotten a lot more used to um, having food to go and, and delivered. I, I think that's gonna be a, 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 a new habit that you see in 2021. Monica Moyer is also trying to navigate the food industry through the pandemic. On December 30th, 2021, what do you think things will look like? So uncertain, so uncertain. I hope to be sitting here with you in this establishment a year from now, um, but I can, really can't say because not only are we going through the second round of COVID and you know, just COVID period, we're going into people trying to get healthy. Monica can't do this work for her Archdale so bakery from home, at least not most of it. Okay, just the three cinnamon rolls. So. And she has her young son and occasionally her daughter working there a little bit, so staying healthy is a priority. Dad, can you take these? But this is a business that's been open for less than a year. It's hard work. Even in normal times. Not paying yourself just to make sure you pay the bills. What Algin and Cash has learned from that kind of experience is... Sometimes we, we, we shouldn't be so focused on our plans. Um, just as we can't be so focused on the past, we can't live in the past, mm -hmm. but we also have to be careful not to live in the future either. And, and I think that we have to really try to live in the moment. But to some degree, it's Algenin's job to predict the future. He's an investment banker with his own firm. And when he looks at 2021, he sees... The pain that, that quite frankly got started in 2020, it, it's not over yet.